This is Daily Devotions, and our text is Jeremiah 31, 34, which says, For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. On October 31st, 1517, Martin Luther, in posting his 95 Theses, wanted to begin a debate about the sale of indulgences, in part, the selling of the forgiveness of sins, and what it meant for the proclamation and living out of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Instead of a debate, Martin Luther ignited a firestorm of reformation across Europe, the effects of which are still being felt and lived out 500 years later. The basic tenet of the Reformation is that Jesus Christ forgives all our sins through his death and resurrection on the cross, and that is ours freely through faith alone. In Psalm 130, it says that, If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. God not only forgives our sins for the sake of Jesus Christ, he also forgets our sins. This is powerful stuff. God does not remember the sins of those who have faith in Jesus. And he gives us the same power as believers in Jesus Christ. We can forgive others who wrong us, but we can also forget their sins as well. This will not be easy, but it is possible through the power of the Holy Spirit working through God's holy word. The means of grace. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for forgiving all my sins through the death of Jesus Christ. I also thank you for forgetting all my sins through Jesus Christ. Help me to do the same with those who sin against me. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm Associate Pastor Ed Blonsky at St. Matthew Lutheran Church and School in Hawthorne Woods. I invite you to come celebrate the 500th anniversary of the Reformation this coming Sunday. October the 29th at 9.30 a.m. The only worship service we'll have all weekend long as we all gather together in a unity service celebrating the grace of Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. Join us again next time for Daily Devotions.